felt out there today? It felt really good. Um, it's been uh, it's, it's been a long process, it feels like, but the last uh, you know few weeks there's been lots of progress, so it's been good. Take us through uh, November when you played the Islanders. What happened? Yeah. What did you feel? Um, just uh, an unfortunate collision, obviously with Paul Murray. And, uh, I didn't know he was coming, and I, I, I don't think he saw me, but it was just, uh, just bad luck, it felt like. And, um, so when you get the, the news that you're going to be out, it's, yeah, you know, it can be difficult, but uh, I'm happy to be back with the, with the boys. Did you have a sense at that time it was serious at the moment? Or? Uh, we knew pretty quickly it was pretty bad, um, but it is what it is. You know, that's, it's, all, it's, it's all part of it, and um, it's experiences like that. You get a chance to learn and grow. And, Come back stronger. Maybe back a bit, Morgan, before the, a little earlier than the original prognosis, but what can you say about the staff here and, and your own ability to recover? Our, our staff is, is world class. And, uh, you know, we've been fortunate here as, as players for this team to to work with them closely You know, for the past number of years, You know, right through from the, the coaching staff, equipment staff, and then you know, obviously like the, the sports medicine staff it is phenomenal. And, you know, uh, I mean, they're incredibly important to, to everything that goes on here. And, you know, from my experience, and the injured and trying to get back, you know, we're uh, extremely fortunate to have this year. Is this any easier if that's the way you want to give them away? Your team is 11 2 and 1. 12 yeah. 2 and 1 the easier this. So. Yeah, no, they are, I've been playing outstanding. Um, and it's been a pleasure to watch. There's been guys who have accepted more responsibility within their roles and have played extremely well. So um, that's obviously, you know, as, as a teammate of theirs, I'm proud of it. And, um, you know, it's very encouraging moving forward. Is this a new injury for you, or I know you had an injury? No, it's a new one. Was the brand yeah, new yeah. one? Yeah. What did you think? I know that the deep four went in together, but Sandy and Lily really stepping yeah. up in their roles. Yeah, they're, I mean, they played better Sandy, and I think, you know, Halsey Geo, and, you know, Brody and Timmer, and uh, Mac when he was in there, um, all those guys have been really good. I mean, especially Rass and Timmy, um, you know, playing more minutes, playing in uh, different situations. And, I thought that we were really good. Uh, we don't have for a bit, but sometimes it takes uh, an opportunity like that to really step into it. And, um, so I think that's a, obviously always a um, you know, positive that occasionally comes out of these situations. How did you lean on your past experience to do like this? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm fortunate. I, um, I've, I've been here long enough, and you know, I'm pretty close with the staff, so I, I have all the confidence in the world. So, um, again, they were very crucial to you know, my day to day. What's the, uh, the play of the Sheldon's using the five forwards on the power play and working on Yeah, it's getting the next type responsibility. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you could put Mitch anywhere, and he would be an All Pro. So, um, I think that we have the talent, and the, I mean, the group of five forwards that can do that. You know, there's other guys too that I mean, you could put out there. So, um, it, it, it's it's a cool opportunity for those guys, and they don't lack creativity. So, uh, you know, they're going to be big for us here the next little bit. I feel like playing back in junior tournament. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere. The ice is good, so we're looking forward to playing. So, you yeah. just draw on your old past experience playing with Timothy? Is it just yeah. as simple as that? Yeah, I mean, I, our, our, our team's been playing great. So for me, it's just about, you know, I mean, I, mean, I want to come in and help, and I want to come in and play the, the team system and I mean, keep this thing you know, going well. I mean, like, like, uh, uh, like Terry said, you know, that hasn't been an issue for us right now. Since I've been out, we've been playing really well. So it's on me to, to contribute to that and, and be a positive um, addition um, and, and, and help the team the end of the going. What does it uh, mean to see Morgan back for this one's practice and then Verge again back in the lineup? Yeah, it's been nice uh, seeing him on the ice the last couple of days and, uh, you know, just having his presence in the locker room uh, around the guys means a huge part of this team. So it always uh, means a lot when you get, uh, you know, guys come back from injury that, you know, play a big role on this team. Awesome. What does it say about the group of D-men, though, that Morgan out if you guys are 12, 2, and 1, and we know the group, uh, the work the group did collectively to, to kind of pull things up. Yeah, I mean, collectively, as uh, Gerd were to describe uh, how we've been playing and how we've been defending, I think it's just been a full uh, group effort, all five guys in the ice, going some solid goaltending. So, um, you know, it's been big. Guys have stepped up, uh, guys that... You know, I haven't had a lot of experience in the NHL. I've come in and played their role and played well. So that's all you can really ask for and just try to get guys to elevate their game a little bit uh, when you do lose guys that uh, play big roles like Mo. Are you excited to see what it's going to be like here tomorrow? It's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely going to be uh, you know interesting, but um, you know, the rink looks nice. 
Uh, the ice felt pretty good, so um, you know, hopefully we'll be rocking tomorrow, and you know, it should be a fun game. But um, you know, definitely uh, you know, a little different than what you're, uh, you know, what you're used to. But just back at last night, just getting the kinks out in the first game back, and able solely able to win a hockey game and sleep it and sleep it Yeah, I mean, I think you know, four days. Uh, you know, off and then you know, dumping into a game. It's not going to be perfect, obviously. You're just trying to get your legs back under you, get back in the rhythm. So, um, you know, they're not all going to be perfect, not all going to be pretty, but, you know, I think we competed and, um, you know, we found a way to win. And that's all that matters. We up some of the stuff that we need to clean up and, uh, and move on. The boost is a do for everyone just having Morgan out there on the ice full practice, taking part and on the verge of getting back. Yeah, it's, it's great, great to have him. You know, even, even yesterday, um, Nice, nice to have. I mean, he brings a lot to the room, and he's been around the group a little bit. But it's different when you're out there, and you're on the ice, and you're in the mix, and you're close to playing. Uh, so I think, I think it's a combination of things. I think uh, some time away with the break, and, and and you know Morgan coming back, and all of that. The guys are. Uh, I think the last two days have been really exciting. I have been really excited. Excuse me. The spirit of the team has been outstanding coming out of the break, which is a very good and healthy sign that the guys are. You know, chopping the bit to get back at it. So, barring anything unseen, Shelby will play tomorrow night, Morgan will. Yeah, yeah, it seems that way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's, it seems like it's it's all thumbs up uh, here at this point. But like always, we'll see how he responds in the morning and such after you know first real hard practice like this today. But uh, he's looking good. I know, I know you wanted to get Dryden to look important to get him two full practices here before that debut now. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Like you know, the break and the timing of it all, and the fact that you know we were going pretty well as a team, you know, it's kind of held that up. But of course, we want to get him involved, so I think the timing is right for that. So he'll go away tomorrow. Is there uh, intrigue and I guess excitement to see what it's like for an NHL game in, in this building? It's obviously unique for NHL standards. Yeah, unique for sure. I I'm happy we were able to get a practice on on that ice today. Um, first of all, it's it, it's it's a tremendous facility. I was talking with a lot of the folks from ASU today. I know they're thrilled and, uh, and gives them great resources and I think it's outstanding. Uh, you know, certainly for them it's different for us and, and there's still some bugs to be worked out here. So first time you, I, I think in the NHL you get to walk outside a little bit for a couple steps to get to the ice. That's unique and different. Uh, and then the size of the rink and, and stuff like that. The, even some of the sounds, the acoustics are, are different uh, in the building than what you're accustomed to. So. We'll have to adjust to that, but certainly today's skate was helpful in that regard. Is there, is there a frustration for you with, with the fine today from the league, Sheldon, given that uh, what you're upset about last night seemed fairly obvious to anybody watching? Uh, listen, it, it, I mean, you get emotional in the game because you're competing just like any, anyone else is, but you know, the game's over, especially when we get the two points. I, I don't put too much thought or concern into any of it. Uh, in Morgan's case, you know, the team played really well without him there and he played a pretty prominent role going into it. Do you look to kind of manage minutes in that regard when when easing someone who's been hurt for that while? I think that that's naturally what you would, would tend to do is to try to ease guys in. It's hard to do once you get these players that are used to playing so much and you can count on them so much. Uh, it's hard to reduce them when they're there and they're available to you. That said, you know, with playing without the, the guys that we have for the last while here with the injuries, so many other guys have stepped up in so many other ways. So that in itself, uh, we think has the trust has grown with the players. So as a result, I think everybody's minutes will drop, you know, over the course of time. And sometimes they'll, they'll really rise and peak. But overall, I think, you know, whether it's on defense or forward, when your team is thriving and the players are all feeling good, you know, everybody's minutes should come down just a little bit because you're just trusting your team. Uh, a little bit of a random one for you. Sam Gagne is about to play in his 1,000th uh, NHL game. You, you coached okay. him. Like, um, uh, what did you see from him in your time with the Marlies that kind of allowed him to kind of get his game back? Uh, love of the game, uh, first of all. Uh, just despite coming down and to play in the American Hockey League, you never saw a dip in his, in his mood, his energy level coming to the rank and his routines and the work that he put in with his game. Uh, I was thrilled for him to get back to the NHL that season and he hasn't looked back back since and um, you know yeah, we saw someone that has we had Jason Spetsy here you know someone that has that that passion for the game and, and you saw that uh, 
uh, from from San Gagne for me at the AHL level, and no surprise that he was able to find his way back. Uh, Matt, go to morning. Sorry. I'm sorry. Murray, good to go to morning. Yeah. Yeah, Murray's good to go.